welcome to Gay Wine Week. Well, virtual Gay Wine Week. I'm Gary Saperstein, owner of Out in the Vineyard. And although we can't be together this year, which is very upsetting to me, of course, because I love being able to see all your smiling faces, we're taking Gay Wine Weekend virtually. And I'm here today on the beautiful grounds of Chateau St. Jean Winery, which has been our host of the Twilight Tea Dance for the past four years and our presenting sponsor of Gay Wine Week. And I have a whole weekend planned for you guys, so I hope that you'll join me. Friday night, we've got the Colors of Wine Country starting at 6 p.m., followed on Saturday by a virtual wine tour. Chateau St. Jean Winery, Walt Wines, and Beyonce Sonoma will be joining us. And of course, I couldn't do this weekend without Twilight Tea Dance. So join us as I bring the dance party into your home. And that will start at 5 p.m. on Saturday, July 18th. And then join us again on Sunday, where we'll be bringing you the drag queen bingo, bubbles, and brunch with Ruby Red Monroe, all benefiting face-to-face -face our Sonoma County HIV AIDS network. And if you'd like, throughout the entire weekend, you'll have an opportunity to donate. No amount is too small or too large. www.f2f.org slash donate. Please help support the work that they do every day. So I want you to sit back, relax, and uncork a bottle of Sonoma County wine, of course, and join me out in the vineyards of Sonoma for Virtual Gay Wine Week. My name is Margot Van Stavern. I'm the winemaker for Chateau St. Jean here in Kenwood, California. Chateau St. Jean was founded in the early 1970s by the Merzoyan family from the Central Valley of California. The premise for the winery was, as it still is today, a single vineyard wines, which was a new idea in the early 1970s for Northern California. And some of those vineyards that we worked with back then, such as the Robert Young and Beltaire vineyards, are, are vineyards we're still working with today. Chateau St. Jean wines overall are really elegant wines. We want the varieties to be genuine. We want to showcase Sonoma County, but we want to strive to, to have a thread of elegance through all our wines. Great food wines because of the cooler region that we're in. We get great acidities, but just to have a, a thread of elegance running through the, the entire line of wines. Oh, welcome. We have made it now to Tuscany. Well, Tuscany in Sonoma. And not only that, I even did an outfit change for you and a mask change. I always highly recommend that. And well, here we are now at Vianza Sonoma and we are atop the summit of Sonoma Valley overlooking, as you can see, the stunning vistas that we have up here at Vianza. So we're gonna do a tasting here, learn a bit a little about Vianza Winery. So join us for this. Okay, well, we're here with Chris Sebastiani, General Manager of Vianza Sonoma. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Gary. Great to have you. Thank Great. you for coming. Nice to, have, nice to be here. And we are looking forward to it because I'm going to be tasting some of these amazing wines that Vianza makes up here. So uh, let's get started. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what are you doing here? So Vianza, funny story, is actually the combination of my parents' names, Vicky and right. Sam. And Vicky and Sam were the third generation of the Sebastiani wine family. My great grandfather immigrated from Italy, started a winery back in the late 1800s in downtown Sonoma called Sebastiani Vineyards, one of the first five wineries in California. Uh, so we're very proud of our history there, uh, kind of helped build some of the, the buildings around the plaza of Sonoma. Um, and then been in the wine industry for about four generations now. And uh, Sonoma is a place that I've called home. Um, I live here with my kids, so it's, it's very much so our community. Um, and we love to we love to be a part of it and support it. So um, mom and dad left the, the family business in the late 80s, uh, started Vianza as a culmination of the family's heritage and winemaking philosophy um, and food. Uh, the winery was built, uh, was was well visited, um, yeah. 
well articulated from a wine and a culinary standpoint, um, but then changed hands uh, in the, the early 2000s. Right. Um, went through a couple different owners, uh, but then found its way back to the family. So my brother John and I uh, were able to take back control of the winery uh, a little over a year and a half ago. So we're happy to be back. Um, we're happy to introduce some new wines. Um, we've got some new labels. We've got a new brand going on. I love it. And yeah. sparkles, bubbles. I didn't even know you did bubbles. We did. And uh, this is a new bubble offering that we have started recently. And what it is, is uh, it's a North Coast base wine uh, with the estate Chardonnay added at dosage. So uh, the grapes down here at the bottom of the hill, uh, we have Chardonnay and Pinot at the bottom. And on the hillside is Sangiovese. Uh, the Chardonnay and the Pinot have not gone into bottle yet, but a little bit of the Chardonnay did make its way into this bubbles. And the Sangiovese we're going to try right here. Oh, so. I love it. Let's wet that whistle. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> He's uh, holding that bottle. I'm like, pour that. Pour that wine. <laughs> go ahead and squeeze on over. Ah, mm. oh, now that is one refreshing glass of bubbles yes. so we've, we've divided our our portfolio into two kind of categories you've got your your california wines which are all uh european by origin anyways but your typical california varietals um and then the italian the classic italian varietals so we've got some fun things um on both sides of mm. that array one of the other ones that we have here is actually planted on our estate mom and dad planted this vineyard back in the early 90s on the hillside here uh -huh. uh, the vineyard itself has uh, Tuscan red soil. It's a soil type that uh, is uh, prolific in Tuscany, but difficult to find here in the North Bay area. Um, and the Sangiovese is what they planted. So this is a lovely wine. Sangiovese is the most widely planted uh, wine right. in Italy. And they have done that because it is one of the most approachable and uh, versatile mm. wines that Italians have figured out how to produce. So. We love oh, this one. That's a beautiful nose. That's beautiful. Fragrant. Mm. This wine, you can almost, I almost smell that Tuscan red soil mm. on the nose. You don't like to tell people that they smell dirt in their wine, but, but uh, it's, it's the terroir. I, I call it earthy. 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 Exactly. And, and that's actually what I'm getting here. Just from the first sip, you get that, the, the floral notes and that fruit that's there in the, in the bouquet come through but then I just get all this earthiness mm -hmm. after that. Or soil, the dirt. The dirt. <laughs> but, but it's good dirt. It's good dirt. That's good dirt. That's where the grapes <laughs> get their flavors. Um, that's, that's, you know, it's so perfect that it's the same as it is in Italy as it is here from a soil type standpoint because this really tastes like a lot of those Italian Sangioveses. There's some nice tannins in this wine too. Yeah. So you get some of that structure, you kind of get that mouthfeel experience on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, really nice. This is such a nice uh, variety of wines here. And you make a lot of, how many varieties do you make? Uh, at full build, we'll be at almost 30 wines. Wow, okay. But That's uh, nice. sourcing some of these fun Italian varietals is a challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's taking me time to rebuild the portfolio. And right now we have 21 wines that are active, so. That's a good amount, 20, 21, 21 wines is good enough, don't you think? Yeah. That, that's something for everybody. <laughs> at, one, at one point, Beyonce had one of the, the widest portfolios of Italian wines uh, at any California winery. So I'm trying to kind of build back that essence of the old Beyonce, but bring it back and update it, which you can see with the, the fun labels and some of the more, um, the more family feel to the story. So um, yeah. That's great. Well, thank you. I so appreciate you sharing the, your beautiful winery with us, but also these great wines, which are really stunning. You, everybody will find something they like up here at Vianza Winery. And um, you will, you'll will see also through some of the film here today that we also have just some great, I mean, the vistas up here, the vineyards and rolling hills that surround us up here with the Tuscan style, um, you know, um, architecture really lends itself to just really making a, you know, just a really great experience up here in Sonoma. And you're one of the first wineries where you come to as you're heading right into Sonoma as well. So it's a quick, easy stop coming or going, That's you right. know, in or out of Sonoma. There's no doubt about that. 
You're exactly right. And you bring up an important point, Gary. You know, we're very thankful and very lucky to be placed up here on a hill looking up Sonoma Valley, strategically yeah. close to San Francisco. We're kind of the welcome and the farewell to the wine country for right. the San Francisco crowd. You come right by us. Um, also important to note about the estate that I didn't specifically mention is that actually the majority of our property here is a preserve. It's a waterfowl That's right. uh, conservation That's area. That's right. So we are, we're on 169 acres, but 97 of it is actually set aside as protected habitat for migratory ducks and geese. Right. And since we're in the Carneros area, we're close to the bay, we're down here in the flat plains. Um, this is a popular area for waterfowl to stop and rest on their migratory path. So mm -hmm. we set aside the chunk, the bulk of our estate uh, and designed it so that it would be habitat for these ducks and geese, um, which yeah. are mostly migratory, but during the seasons they're not migrating, uh, we have literally thousands of other species of animal that yeah. have made this. So. Yeah, it's, 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 a stu it's stunning. I mean, Thank that you. part about it, that you have that part of the winery is also that whole conservation and it just makes for also a stunning view as well you can't beat it you can't beat it so thank you thank you Gary. this appreciate is great it. great to yeah. see you, to see you and i appreciate you opening up the wines here today always so open up the wines for anybody who's interested in enjoying them uh, come visit us here at Vianza. come see us online enjoy the wines in your home let me host you and enjoy the wines here too ah well cheers to that cheers <laughs> thanks gary <laughs>
provider of uh, oh. <laughs> You were doing so well. Okay. So well. I'm gonna cut that. Just get try pick up. So walk. Do you tell me why? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, we're here up at the summit of. of oh, sorry. Start, we'll start over again. Yeah. After midnight.